Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another edition of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about how to leverage micro-influencers. So I think first and foremost, it's very important to identify what micro-influencers are. So, you know, a big-time influencer, you might think, uh, just basically anybody that has an audience, right? So if you look at Kim Kardashian, right, she has millions and millions of followers on Instagram. She's considered a macro-influencer. Micro-influencers might be people that have a couple of thousand followers, uh, or maybe 15, 20K plus, uh, and you know, up to well, a certain threshold. Go ahead. Yeah, it's more so people who have a following within a specific niche. So a good example of this is Eric and I. We're micro influencers. We don't have a huge following that can impact the world, but we have a following that's small and it's big enough within our niche, which is online marketing. And one good point, I mean, the uh, there's a platform that I invested in recently. They're focused on micro influencers, so they've defined it around a certain range. Um, so I think there's a lot of definitions right now. So I think you know your mileage may vary, but I think Neil's definition is is fair as well. Um, so the question is, how do you go about leveraging micro influencers? Neil, have you worked with any micro influencers in the past? I have, and I've seen a lot of other companies work with them as well, like in spaces like fitness. Uh, my buddy who owns Legion Athletics or Legion Supplements or Muscle for Life, all same company. What they do is they pay people to post on Instagram and Facebook to promote their protein products and supplements. And what they found is when they went after like major influencers who had like four or five million followers to post about their supplements, none of their sales increased. But on the flip side, when they had people with 30, 40, 50,000 followers, and some were even lower, like 10,000 followers, but they were bodybuilders, whether it's a male bodybuilder or a female bodybuilder, post pictures with the workout supplements and leave like uh, relevant descriptions talking about their products, they generated sales. And the cost was a lot lower. So what they learned from the process is it's not about quantity. You don't want to go after the biggest influence influencers. You want to go after the influencers that are the most relevant. And by doing that, you'll generate sales versus all this quote unquote white noise or buzz that doesn't really do anything. Yeah. And today's day and age, it's still, this stuff is still fairly new. You know, a lot of people are trying to build these platforms. Uh, Hopefully, you know, one of them works out uh, because a lot of the platforms today, the funny thing is it's you, you see a lot of agency people out there that are building these uh, influencer platforms but at the end of the day you know you don't have technology or product people uh, you know helping to to assist with these it's just they're kind of offshoring it um, and it's not really working out that well so uh, you know right now at least you know one of the, the episodes we talked about you know Instagram for example we talked about how to uh, do b2b marketing through uh, Instagram and you know using the power and leveraging the power of the DM finding people that are influencers in your area just using uh, you can use tags. Uh, you can find people that are just similar to you know other micro influencers just by tagging the tapping the little carrot button uh, when you look at a profile. There's just so many ways to do it, and just you know the art of the DM, right? There's a there's actually a good video from uh, Gary Vee. It's like nine minutes or so about using the art of the DM, um, and there's some templates in there that that you can follow to um, to find these influencers and start to work with them. Yeah, and whenever you work with micro influencers, keep in mind one isn't going to move your business, and even if you have a small marketing budget or a large one, it doesn't matter. You can't just work with one. If you're not going to work with 10 plus at a time, don't waste your time. And the reason I found this is when everyone within your space talks about you, it's much more effective than one or two people do it. And when they do talk about you, you can't spread it out over a month. You want to get them to do it all during the same day, ideally. Right. It's the same thing with ads, right? You can't just say, you know, you're going to run one campaign and it's going to work out. Um, you have to test. You have to keep refining over and over and then um, and then go from there. But there's actually areas that you can probably look for, you know, different pricing guides on how to work with micro influencers. Uh, we're not going to talk about that too much here. But um, Neil, you have anything else to add? No, pretty much it. All right. So that's it for today. And before we go, we have a special giveaway. It's a one year annual subscription of drip which is my favorite email automation tool includes lead scoring tagging split testing revenue reporting and more Um, and if you want to get a copy of this all you need to do is rate review and subscribe to the podcast Uh, we're going to pick one winner and then text marketing school that's one word marketing school to 33444 to prove that you did it and if you're international just email me eric eric at singlegrain.com to prove that you did it 
And that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.